Very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad, uh, His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the protection of the lives and well being of citizens and residents is the foremost priority and that cases of death among athletes must be studied and in order to take preventive measures. This, His Highness said, requires cooperation by various institutions in the kingdom. For his part, the General Secretary of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sports, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa said that His Highness Sheikh Nasser is keen on protecting the well-being of athletes within the framework of promoting sports as a healthy way of conducting daily life. Sheikh Salman expressed appreciation for the cooperation of various institutions on this matter to carry out His Highness's directives. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, said that the launch of the 10th iteration of the Youth City 2030 is a suitable place through which national initiatives are promoting patriotism and the concept of citizenship can be carried out and implemented. His Highness said that this would take place by training the youth to allow them to enter the labor market after having been equipped with the knowledge and skills that the sport city provides. His Highness affirmed that engaging with the youth and training theme represents one of the Council's priorities as per the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to invest in the youth and integrating them into the process of modernization. His Highness added that the Youth City 2030 has witnessed the rise of a number of young talents which are characterized by their ability to be productive and innovative. His Highness said that nurturing such qualities through the youth city contributes to the prosperity and progress of the country as they carry out their duties towards it. The 110th session of the Executive Council of the United Nations World Tourism Organization was concluded. Heading the Kingdoms of Bahrain's delegation to the event was the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Chairman of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani. These sessions were held in the Republic of Azerbaijan at the invitation of the Secretary General of the World Tourism Organization, the UNWTO, Zorab Polikashvili. The event discussed numerous topics related to global tourism, including the Secretary General's report as well as the General Work Program and the Financial Report. The meeting also discussed the organization's vision for the for global tourism sector by 2030, laying plans and setting priorities for the sector over the next two years, in addition to the approval of the closing account for 2018 and the 2020-21 budget. The aim of this participation is to strengthen relations with the members of the Executive Council in order to achieve the UNWTO's objectives and to benefit from the experiences of countries which will contribute to enhancing the tourism revenue to the GDP. The Minister of Information Affairs and General Secretary of the Bahrain Center for Political Development, Ali bin Mohammed al ramehi received a French delegation from the French National Media Institute today, with whom the minister discussed the ways in which a memorandum of understanding, which was signed during His Majesty the King's last visit to France, could be brought into effect. The minister affirmed the importance of developing the field of media and communication nationally and regionally, as well as the importance of developing the capabilities of the administrative and executive personnel involved in media production. The French delegation then toured a number of the ministry's departments to examine its various operations. The delegation expressed its admiration of the talents at the ministry's disposal, its professional work environment and its technologically sophisticated equipment. Within the framework of the directives of the Minister of Interior, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, to reach the highest levels of preparedness and quality of the National Ambulance Service and to continue to share the international experience in the field of first aid and safety, Head of Public Security Major General Tarak bin Hassan Al Hassan received at the National Ambulance Center a senior French delegation concerned with the field of emergency service headed by Dr. Nicolas Bariot. The Head of Public Security welcomed 
the guests and affirmed that the national ambulance plan, which was announced by the Minister of Interior, launched on June the 15th, is considered a pioneering urban project that reflects the achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the field of services provided to citizens. Al Hassan lauded the support received by the Minister for the national ambulance project and the provision of all equipment as well as the rehabilitation programs for working caterers in order to achieve the quality required during the stages of service delivery, adding that they, there are many future plans for the development of services provided. Al Hassan also expressed thanks and appreciation to the Supreme Council of Health, headed by Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The meeting discussed the steps and procedures would achieve full readiness, which shall contribute to the rapid response and the transfer of cases for treatment according to the highest safety standards. During the field visits, the French delegation inspected the ambulances of the project through its modern and advanced equipment, in addition to all that is related to the equipment of the ambulance centers and the rehabilitation of the medical staff working, as well as the coordination within the Salmania Medical Complex, the BDF and King Hamad Hospital. The Secretary General of the Shura Council, Osama Ahmed Al Asfour, signed a memorandum of understanding in MOU with the Advocate General and Deputy Minister of the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Wa'il Rashid Bhalai, who represented the Institute for Judicial and Legal Studies. The MOU aimed at fortifying the cooperation and information sharing efforts between the two parties, as well as facilitating the exchange of expertise between them, with the objective of carrying out a number of specialized studies and and organizing conferences, training courses, and workshops. The cooperation efforts are intended to contribute to the efforts of development and modernization as per Bahrain's constitution and the National Action Charter.